Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May 28th of 2023. Well, it is titled Ida and Dactyl, Asteroid and Moon. So what do we see here? Well, this is the asteroid known as Ida. And it just looks like a little ball of rock out in space with lots of craters on it. It was one of the first asteroids to be imaged close up. And that was done by Jupe by the uh, Galileo spacecraft as it was heading out toward Jupiter in 1993. And it's path was planned so that it would go near two asteroids since it was going to pass through the asteroid belt in any case we may as well get some nice images of asteroids and gives us a chance to try out the cameras before they get to Jupiter for its studies. So it actually looked at two asteroids as it went through here. This is Ida and kind of a surprise that was found there is another object around it called Dactyl and you see that off to the right hand side. So this was the first asteroid discovered to have a moon. Now a moon can occur around any object. What is our definition of a moon? It's pretty much an object that orbits a smaller, a larger object. So our moon going around Earth, uh, the moons of Jupiter or Saturn or Uranus or Neptune orbiting around their planets. But there's no reason that an asteroid could not have a moon as well. Now, it's uh, the reasoning for it is probably due to some kind of collision. So if we had a asteroid crash into this and knock a piece of it off, a couple things could happen. That material could fall back onto the asteroid. If the impact was large enough, it might expel that material out into space, leaving debris behind in its orbit. Or it could have knocked a piece of it off and then landed just right so that it continued on in orbit around that asteroid. And we now know of other asteroids that have moons as well. And asteroid collisions not extremely common. But over billions of years, it's quite possible that asteroids will bump into one another every once in a while. So we see these again, it's a very a big difference in size. And really, they're not very uh, large in either case, being only about the larger asteroid Ida is about 60 kilometers long. So not all that long, that would be what about 40 miles or so across. So that's the longer axis only 25 kilometers wide. And that would make it about 15 miles wide. So very, uh, that's a small object as it is. The asteroid is only about a mile across, about 1.6 kilometers across. So very tiny object, but again, was very unexpected. We had never seen an, a moon around an asteroid before. It would be far too faint to be seen from Earth. So it was the first of these, which of course gave us the idea, look for some more. And now many asteroids are actually known to have moons and are similar to what we see with Ida and Dactyl here. So that was our picture of the day for May 28th of 2023. It was titled Ida and Dactyl, Asteroid and Moon. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be sea blue sky. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.